While Tim Cook's face during his meeting with Trump became fuel for a thousand memes, you might have missed militarized autonomous watercraft, how snap spectacles can do some good, and more fun from NASA. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where NASA nailed its third attempt to launch eight weather microsatellites into space. They're intended to track hurricanes more thoroughly than we currently do. Burn out, right on time. Finally, we have proof that Snapchat spectacles could be good for more than just capturing epic moves, brah. A UK doctor who previously operated while wearing Google Glass and a VR headset snapped up some spectacles to live stream a hernia surgery. The only downside? Someone had to keep pressing record since it only captures 10 second clips. This is this doctor's thing. His Snapchat name is Virtual Surgeon, and he hopes using the glasses will advance medical teaching. Just don't watch that all the way through if you're not a doctor. It gave me a case of the no face. Ugh. The Office of Naval Research is working on a new way to protect America's harbors, and of course, it involves robots. These are autonomous prototypes the Navy is calling swarm bots. Right now, they're doing very basic tasks like harbor defense, high value unit protection, but you can envision them doing escort missions. You can envision autonomous vessels delivering supplies ashore. The idea is that they'd patrol waterways, and if they spot an unidentified ship entering that space, they'd rush out to investigate it like a pod of mechanical orcas. They would then relay any information back to a human overseer. The system could take the place of four crew members on any boat it's installed on and save them from the drudgery of patrolling harbors. But who wouldn't want to ride along with Bruce Willis? Jeff Schultz, Devil Township. It's on party. Where's your diver? He fell off. And now TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. Scientists are joining the Internet Archive team in copying data before a Trump presidency. The EPA has confirmed that fracking contaminates drinking water. Trump met with Silicon Valley tech titans this week. Facebook plans to fight the fake news propaganda problem with verified fact checkers using journalist design standards. And Super Mario Run came out on smartphones to the delight of every 90s kid ever. Perfect to play while you procrastinate about buying gifts.